Hey y'all, welcome to BC's Outdoor Kitchen. I'm fixing to fire up the rocket stove and uh, I was gonna see if I could make some cornbread but I found some muffin tins that'll fit in there. So uh, I think I'm gonna make some cupcakes. And uh, let me get this thing on that metal cart. And get some wood in it, get it fired up, and uh, see what kind of temperature I can bring this up to. Let me get it going. We'll be right back. Okay, I just got it started. It hasn't started gasifying yet. Uh, I, I made this metal plate. I think I showed you the other day this, uh, this tray that I got at a yard sale. Woo -ha. All right. So I'm going to set the oven on that. Uh, feed this. I'm going to overfeed it just a little bit. And go in and <clears throat> mix, uh, mix my cake mix and uh, grease up my pan. This only came with one shelf. I'm kind of surprised. Well, uh, we'll try it with, I'll just have to make uh, two, you know, I have two pans and I have this here, but it doesn't quite fit in there. And I could put some rods through here ac across this and then set that grill on it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it just like that. So here, let me, uh, let me set this down on there. And uh, we'll see how quickly this picks up heat. All right, I'm not going to make you stare at the temperature gauge with me. I, I still got several things to do. Let me go and uh, mix my cake batter up, and we'll be right back. It's not even up to 300 yet, but I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Put this in there now. Maybe feed this a little bit. I'm going to set my uh, clock for uh, 20 minutes and uh, we'll, we'll be back. I got a toothpick here. I'm supposed to stick this toothpick in there to see if it's done. We'll see. All right, see you in 20 minutes. Here's the thing about rocket stoves. There, there's a fine line between just enough wood and too much wood that it smokes. When you get these rock stoves smoking, you put too much wood in them. And uh, right now, we've had so much rain here, uh, I can't even walk from here to my chicken house. I have to walk down to the corner there and then step on all the roots and then hop over to the door with, with those on. We've had three weeks of rain. We had rain yesterday. It's thundering now. Gonna have rain tomorrow. Uh, and I'm telling you this because that's why I'm using all this lumber instead of uh, sticks. If I had some smaller stuff, uh, this would be a little easier to control. But uh, this is actually the hottest it's been now that this is finally burning right. You know, from my overfilling it. <laughs> now that it's finally burning right and uh, it's actually burning the wood gas. Oh, my wife just brought me sticks. Okay, send them on the counter. Thank you very much. I have plenty. A yard full. Okay. Well, anyway, it's uh, the temperature's coming up because it's finally uh, burning right, and it wasn't. It's not the stove. It's just that I I uh, stuffed it too full because I thought I was going to be gone longer. But uh, anyway, it's working good now.
Okay, that's 20 minutes. I uh, have my doubts. I have my doubts. Well, wait a minute now. Let me get my glove. They do not make nothing to fit normal size hands. Jeez. Alright. Now apparently you're supposed to be able to take a toothpick and stick it in here and tell if it's done. I don't know how. I don't know how you're supposed to tell, but... I didn't get that far in my instructions. I have no idea. I'm going to put this back in. And then go ask my wife <laughs> what the hell that, that means. Uh, stick a toothpick in it. Alrighty. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, she said it was supposed to come out clean and with no dough stuck to it, and I think it did. Let me give it another try. Oh shoot, where's the daggum toothpick now? Oh. Golly, I hope you weren't licking that. Yeah, that looks clean to me. All right, I'm going to put my other batch in there and uh, do about the same thing with that. And uh, by that time, I'll, I've will got to let these cool 10 minutes and then dump them out. We'll see. We'll see if they're done. All right, batch number two is in there. Got to let that temperature come back up. And uh, set my clock for another 20 minutes. Okay, so I had a little trouble getting them out of this pan. Apparently you're supposed to grease the pan before you put these in there. And uh, I think she already told me that. And I may have forgotten. But let's uh, let's break one open and see what it looks like inside. Ah, they're done. Well, there you have it. You can absolutely bake a cake. Because this is just cake mix. You could bake a cake, make muffins. And I know you can do cornbread. And uh, I will do some cornbread, but not today. My next time lighting that rocket stove up, I'm going to do a chicken teriyaki stir fry. I still got another batch of these in there, and uh, I hope them come out a little easier because I had planned on. Oh yeah. <sighs> Maple bacon frosting. Oh well, let's see. This one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's... Now, yeah, I can kind of stick that one back together. I think I can frost th th these. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and frost them. What the heck? Waste not, want not. Anyway, now you know. A uh, little Coleman oven. Uh, it's not ideal. And I have seen another one on Amazon. It's a foreign made and it requires a lot of assembly according to uh, some of the complaints. But once it's assembled, it works really good. Uh, there's got to be a better oven than this. It's a piece of crap, and everybody warned me that it was. Uh, but, you know, it, you can make bread in it. You can make muffins. You can do cornbread uh, on a rocket stove, a Silver Fire Survivor rocket stove, not on a propane oven. So that's, that's saying something. You can, you can make bread in an oven over a fire. Pretty cool. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Did you really think I wouldn't show you the most important part? The bacon. I guess you could tell I'm not a baker, huh? This is my first time ever baking anything. Okay, this time I mean it. Thanks for watching.